CM365 all about Carnatic music. It is indeed amazing to see the different formats that Tyagaraja has adopted in composing his Kritis. Thus the lyrics and the melody come together in different formats in his hands. And one such unique composition I would like to share today is Bale Bale Indu the Ragam Riti Gaula. This particular composition is on Goddess Dharma Samvardhani of Tiruvayyaru. This particular temple, Shiva temple was built during the Chola dynasty in the 9th century, that is the olden parts. And it got further expanded through uh, till about the time of the Tanjaur Nayaks, which is about the 16th century. Now coming to the opening phrase, we see that even in the uh, first phrase, the Riti Gaula Raga oozes out so beautifully, where he starts like, Bale, Bale, Du Bhushani, Bale, Bale, Du Bhushani, Bale, Nene, Sadan, Bale, Sanipani, Nene, which is the actually the heart of the ragam, I would say. Uh, that is the melody aspect. Probably we'll look into that sometime later. But here, what I wanted to focus is the format of the composition, where you see that uh, the prasa has been maintained so beautifully. This song actually has got a pallavi, anupallavi, and three charanas. But in the concert circuit, of course, you would have heard only the summer, last mudra charana of Tyagaraja uh, being sung. So I will take that charana for examination here. The uh, first itself, you see, Bale, Bale, Du Bhushani, Bhavaro, Ga, Shabani. Where from uh, one avarta to another avarta, there is a clear discrimination. But the accent uh, from the Anupallavi uh, changes its course, where you see, then the accent comes like Now in the Charanam, the first aspect I would like you to observe is how the rhyming, the prasam happens. And sometimes he's also used the Atita uh, Gata format so that uh, the rhyming falls perfectly in place like Rame Pranatharti Hara Bhirame Devaka Mini Lalame Tyagaraj Bhajana Sakame Dojana Ganabhime where you saw the rhyming of words Rame, then Atita Abhi, Rame, then Deva Kamin Neela, Lame, Tyagaraja Bhajana Sakame, Durjana Ganabhime. And all of them share beautiful meaning. Rame meaning the O oh, Charming One, Abhi Rame, O oh, One Who Delights uh, Pranatarti Hara, and Lalame, O oh, Most Eminent of Celestial Woman, and Sakame who fructifies the name chanting or the bhajana and Bhime, who is a terror of the uh, Durjanas and uh, this is how the meaning happens and here uh, this is my uh, just I was thinking about this this song is also in uh, Manipravala that is it's basically in Sanskrit but just two lines are in uh, Telugu and uh, after this lines uh, it moves into Telugu and here uh, Tyagaraja actually does not maintain the prasa anymore in the sense that probably he wants to also focus on the fact that this is moving from Sanskrit to Telugu. So it takes a totally different course and that's also very amazing to observe. Like and then again goes back to Sanskrit and again the accent starts like Rama Sodhari Vai 
ವೇಲಸೀನ ಶ್ರೀಶ ಮಣೆ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಂವದನಿ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಸಿ ರಾಮ ಸೋದರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ ದೆನ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಶ್ಯಾಮಳೆ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇವಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ದಟ್ how he has also shown a demarcation between the two languages by the way in with the rhyming has also been differentiated and the second aspect i wanted to share here is about the accent in this particular middle finger that happens through the composition in all the sanskrit parts of the charanam like rame pranathati harabdhi rame ದೇವಕಾಮಿಗರಾಜ ಭಜನ ಸಕಾಮೇ ದೋರ್ಜನ ಗಣಭೀಮೆ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೈಫರ್ಕೇಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅವರ್ ತರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅವರ್ ತರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ so a different way of even structuring a composition where the accent is not just on the samam but actually here in this place in this particular composition over here and in the middle finger so a different uh, approach i would say in terms of how he has uh, used the rhyming of words how he has uh, structured the composition itself quite differently because we know of uh, uh, the tyagaraja kriti is uh, adhering to a particular mold and uh, here we see that in this particular composition it has deviated from that and given as a different color itself to the kriti in terms of a uh, structuring here so that is where i suppose tyagaraja is again very very unique cm 365 all about carnatic music 